Hey there guys, I'm back with another video and today we'll be unboxing the Pavilion 13.3 X360 M3 convertible laptop. This is a Best Buy exclusive, so the only difference I notice is that the one from the HP website has some stripes on the left side of the laptop when you open it up. And it does not have the gold keyboard, so if you're looking to get this exact model, you might have to pick it up at Best Buy or on Amazon or eBay if you're able to find it there. As of now, you can pick this up at Best Buy for $699, which is a good deal. A month ago, this was a $799, so that's $100 off. So let's get started. So at first, we're greeted with the documentation for the laptop. And meanwhile, she takes the laptop out of the box. I'll run over the specifications real quick. This is configured with an Intel Core i5, 8GB of RAM, 13.3 full HD IPX display and 128GB of solid state drive which is going to be pretty snappy. You can go with the lower model which will reduce the price to 400 on the Core i3 model. So on the bottom here we have some plastic uh, which is pretty durable and it has a nice tone finish to it. The laptop is very thin and looks very sleek even more in person. Its small profile makes it easy to carry around with one hand without much struggle. The overall exterior look is very elegant with the modern gold finish, it feels great to the touch. You won't be able to open this using just one hand, so you are going to be needing both your hands to open this up. The interior has the charcoal black which complements the gold keyboard nicely so it makes it stand out a lot more. The HP hinges on this keyboard is set to last up to 25,000 closing and openings and what seems like a little bit to me, 7,360 degree rotations. The B&O speaker sounds great and it gets reasonably loud so it's great to use this while watching a movie or listening to something indoors. On the right side we are greeted with the SD card reader, two USB 3.0 slots, a full HDMI port and a charging port. Here on the left side sits the power button which is difficult to feel at times so it would have been nice if it had some texture or it protruded a bit, a Kensington security port, a USB 2.0, audio out and mic in both in one port followed by a volume rocker to easily control the volume. This is an all one display panel which looks pretty nice indoors but when you take it outside you'll notice that it's really reflective and it doesn't get that bright so if you intend on using this outdoors just keep that in mind. The charging cable is small and compact so it's easy to store in your laptop bag or backpack. The end that goes into the laptop has a 90 degree angle and moves with ease. You can use this laptop in three different ways and one being as a tablet. And this does weigh 3.48 pounds, so it's pretty heavy if you just carry it with both hands while you're laying down. So it's great to just uh, have it when you're laying down with your knees up and just rest it on there for more support. So that's really, really nice way to use it. So when you do flip it over to tablet mode, the keyboard becomes disabled so you don't accidentally press on it. So you're going to be using the virtual keyboard on the display. Another way to use this laptop is in the tent mode, which is really great when you're watching movies or you're just playing some games on this and another way also that's great to watch movies in is in the stand mode which I totally forgot to show you guys and I'm sorry about that but it's just basically just just laying the laptop on the keyboard and turning it back so it's a nice way to use as well. This only comes with one level of brightness but was really hoping for two. It gets quite bright and goes through the letters and numbers so you can easily see which key you're going to press next. This brings me to the typing experience. The keyboard is very robust with a better keyboard travel than on my Dell laptop. The keyboard has a bit of flex on it but is very comfortable with typing on it, well at least it, for me it is. And, and this makes it great for typing long essays for college if you're going to be using this for school. With this good build I can go all crazy on this keyboard. The trackpad is very responsive and smooth. The battery life on this is decent at 6 hours and 30 minutes on a full charge. The 8GB of RAM is soldered into the board and the 120GB of memory is user replaceable. But it's a bit of a hassle to do so because you have to remove the top where the keyboard sits to access it. And when you put back the keyboard you might get some unevenness on the keyboard so it's just something to keep in mind. This is definitely a great buy if you get the Core i3 model you might pick this up for about $400 which is even less. If you weigh a little, you may be able to pick this up on a back to school sale that the Best Buy has on Blue Label laptops and this was one of them and takes off about $150 off. Or you can just go ahead and search it up on the Microsoft Student Store which gives you a pretty good discount as well. Alright guys, well this concludes my unboxing and thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys found this helpful and see you guys next time.